No, I just want you to break one of his legs. Yeah, that'll be enough. Give me my money. <laughs> you running into money problems, financials. Financials got you down. You been sports gambling a little too much. We've all been there. You bet, you better, you bet on the Jets and they lose. What a surprise. But it's your old Uncle Vic here and I'm here to tell you. Come to Vic the Shark, not the Lone Shark the Shark. Cause I be biting out deals left and right. Shark to Saber, that's me. I'm the Shark to Saber, Vic the Shark. I know, the, I know what the price is of a great education. You don't want to miss out on that. My mother always told me, Vic, you're not going to amount to anything if you don't get an education. I started reading books. Who knew books had so much information? But come on down to Vic's Loan Shark. Vic the Shark, that's what I mean. I don't mean Vic Loan Shark. Vic the Shark and I can get you the best deals financial, student, personal, loans over the country, but especially in Jersey because there's less taxes. Thank you and have a great, wonderful day. Maybe get yourself a Capricola sandwich. You know, <laughs> yeah, I ain't little Capricola. <laughs> Hi, I'm looking for Vic, the shark, student loans. You're talking to him. Vic the shark at your service. Who might you be? My name is Sam and I'm trying to go to college. Uh, it's been a dream of mine and I'm really trying to get in. Sammy boy, that makes sense. You got a huge noggin on ya. <laughs> yeah, that's what they all say. Um, they used to call me alien in high school because I had a big head, so. I'm used to it. Hey, Miss Sammy, what are you going to school for? And how much do you need from good old Vic the Loan Shark? I mean the shark. I'm going to school for business, and I need $30,000. $30,000? What are you going to school for? To sell drugs? That's a shitload of dough, Samster. I'm not selling drugs. I know it's a lot, but I haven't gotten approved anywhere else and I'm a hard worker and I'm I'm gonna pay it back I believe you Sammy you seem like a hard worker I would have to break your legs if you didn't pay are you serious no I'm not serious well I mean if it comes down to that but it's usually the arm first but what you can do is always work a few odd jobs for me to cut down your balance. You know, I'm always interested in odd jobs. I've mowed the lawns before, and I've, I've worked in restaurants, busing, bartending, serving, so, you know, I could always work a little extra. Uh, it's not really a lawn mowing or restaurant that I'm talking about, but it would be a job that would be way worth your while. Thanks, Vic. You seem very trustworthy and not at all sketchy. Pleasure doing business with you. We will see about that, Sammy. This could be a start of a great relationship between you and I. But take care of yourself and make sure you come around and see me old, see old Vixter with that good old brioche, if you know what I'm saying. Or else, I might have to show up at your address and maybe undress you and put you on the railroad, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs>